This might be the most overdue Lego Star Wars set of all time, with set 7537 boarding the Tantive Four. It has 502 pieces and costs $55, and it's a recreation of a very iconic scene from Star Wars that somehow has never been made. You're getting six minifigs from the original trilogy, and because this set celebrates the 25th anniversary of Lego Star Wars, it includes an extra minifigure with ARC Trooper Fives. Quick side note about the box art here, it's very much Inception. It's the Tantive Hallway inside of the Tantive hallway. It's always interesting with sets like this, how the box art turns out, because there's really not a better way to do it. It's just funny to see. Cutting into the box, you're gonna find five numbered bags, and perhaps the best thing about the Fives minifigure, he's in bag number five. You also have a sticker sheet and an instruction manual, and at the very end, it shows two Tantive hallways combined together. We'll talk about that later, but unfortunately, I only have one of the set today. Our first minifigure is the standard modern Darth Vader with arm printing, the two-piece helmet, and a soft cloth cape. It's a nice figure, but it's not nothing different than what you might see in other sets these days. Accompanying him, we've got a pair of the white-hipped stormtroopers. These, again, are the modern design that we've seen in other sets, so nothing exclusive here either. Captain Antilles is a pretty exciting and good-looking figure here, although I would say the legs look a bit bare without having a dual mold or any print. You do have a very nice facial expression on him and a second face if you flip it around. And now for the two minifigs I'm most excited to get out of this set, just two standard rebel troopers. They've got that standard rebel trooper helmet we've seen for well over a decade and a half. They've got nice facial expressions with the chin strap included. The torso design has one question mark to me and that's the skin is just missing from the top of the shirt area. It's just a blank spot. And if you look at this 2019 figure, you can see at the very top of the torso, the skin is showing through. So I'm not really sure why they've taken that detail out. It's definitely missing now. The one thing I really was hoping to get out of these though, as far as an upgrade is concerned, was dual molded legs. And to not have that is really unfortunate. I feel like it should have been here. I know it's not an adult set, but I think it's pretty obvious at this point that sets like this are, while well, they have play features, also very much for adults and trying to appeal to collectors who want to display stuff like this. So I would have loved to have seen some dual molded legs on the Rebel Troopers here, but it's not here. The seventh and final minifig in the set is included as a bonus for 25 years of Lego Star Wars, which is printed on the plate for the stand beneath his feet. The stand will easily connect to the other 25th anniversary minifigures, and now it's time to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly of ARC Trooper 5s. The good, arm printing was a very unexpected yet high quality addition to this figure. The backpack I also wasn't expecting but looks very nice on his back and he has a unique head print. The bad, no hairpiece is unfortunate if you wanna display that beautiful head accurately at least I suppose. The mega ammo pouch from Captain Rex is back and no, I didn't wanna see that nice torso detail we could see otherwise. You'll never believe this one but there's no cloth camera. At least he can sit down now because if he had a cloth camera according to Lego Star Wars designers, he wouldn't be able to sit down. Don't, don't ask me how I did that. The cloth pauldron on top was like a nice try, but it's, uh, it's flat. Our final category, the ugly. I still cannot believe we haven't had a Tanta 4 hallway set after 25 years, but man, it was worth the wait. It looks really good even without minifigures. The highlight detail on the hallway to me is that the main door is printed. Now they were forced to do this because of the tight tolerance on the function, but they did it nonetheless, and it looks very good. Now there are other stickers scattered throughout the hallway. They look less good than they would printed, but overall still add a nice amount of detail to the interior of the Tantive. I really like the recreation of the curvature from the floor to the walls to the roof. I think that's really nicely done here. And then I'm really unsure how to feel about the fact that they left some of it not tiled off on top with the light gray. It almost feels incomplete where they could have easily just plopped on some white tiles and made the whole thing look super clean on top. I know they like to leave exposed studs in places, but there are plenty of exposed studs on the floor. I don't think it would have hurt you to tile off the top. Looking at the back, side of the hallway, it's understandably much uglier as we see some of what will make the door open in a moment, and there is a little bit of extra space on the back so that you can fit figures back here waiting to walk through a doorway or in the process of walking through a doorway. Now to open the door to let Vader and his stormtroopers in, there's a lever here. You can pull this down, and it will subsequently pull the entire door across and open it up. There's also a little piece here that you can pull down at, and it will achieve the same effect. I'm curious why they ended up doing basically the same thing twice to to do the same function. It seems kind of redundant, but I'll tell you what, this is a very fun thing to do. Moving it up and down is just a blast. Now, when that doorway's open, it has a very cool fiery look, so it just adds a very epic entrance to your stormtroopers and Darth Vader there. I love that 
so much. Now within the hallway, there are four specific spots to place your two stormtroopers and two rebel troopers. And when your trooper is properly placed on these spots, there's a little lever on the edge of the build that can be turned and it will make your trooper fly off. It's really cool. And it's even cooler that it's actually available for all four troopers. Sometimes it's kind of like one feature for one character at a time, but literally you can have a back and forth battle where one rebel takes out a stormtrooper and then a stormtrooper takes out a rebel. I also really like that the spots for figures are jumper plates because I feel like that lets you make the battle a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more realistic without having the figures have to stand straight on every stud. Another cool feature is the ability to have Captain Antilles stand on this included clear cylinder piece and that's so that it can look like Darth Vader is holding him up by the neck. It's pretty dope. For any interested parties, this is what the underside looks like. Pretty basic aside from the functionality to fling off your troopers. And now at the very edge of the hallway build, there's a large open-ended Technic piece that just kind of leaves it open to your imagination as to what you could add on there. And according to the instructions, you're supposed to add on another Tantive IV hallway in the opposite direction. So you can create a more complete hallway feel. I really think that's gonna play really well with that functionality to make troopers fly off. Adding more troopers into that kind of battle is absolutely gonna be more fun. However, from a collector's display perspective, I don't think it adds anything. In fact, I think it makes it look worse for display because one side is gonna be the ugly side of the build facing outwards. So if you're just buying this as a display set, I honestly think one is the way to go unless you're going to modify it, which is a completely different case. But buying the set as the set, I think one is the way to go for older collectors. And if you're buying it for kids or if kids are interested in it to play with, then maybe having more than one makes a lot more sense. One last little note, now that we've seen everything else, there's this hidden storage area on the back of the hallway and you can place that cylinder piece there or some of your weapons. It just depends on what you want to do with it, but it's nice extra space. So after 25 years, boarding the Tantive IV has delivered on one of the most iconic scenes in Star Wars history. There's no question in my mind that this is going to be a hot seller because of how great of a set it is. It really is amazing. When it comes to trying to rate this set, if we take out that bad fives figure, I think this is just a beautiful Lego Star Wars set. It's really amazing what Lego Star Wars has done with a playset idea that really started with the Dark Trooper attack a couple years ago and built upon it. This thing is so much better than what we saw two years ago. What we saw two years ago is still very good, but this is just a nice upgrade to that, you know? When we first saw the Dark Trooper set, I think we all realized that they should do a Tantive hallway set like it, but it turns out they could do a Tantive hallway set better than it and for $55, a pretty dang good value. So fives minifigure aside, I'm going 9.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section below and you can check out more 2024 set reviews on the end screen now.